Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and we have breaking news. The challenge has been accepted for a new debate between Trump and Harris. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, you can do that by following that address in the lower right hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at explain America. Keep getting the latest in conservative news during this crucial election season by hitting subscribe absolutely free. Kamala Harris has accepted the invitation from CNN to debate former President Donald Trump on October 22nd. Now this to me is way too close to election day. Why would she want to debate that close to election day? Why not the beginning of October? And why has Trump already done CNN and ABC and you want him to do CNN again? Why can't Kamala Harris step out of her comfort zone and go to Fox News? Now, just before making this video, I was informed that the, the campaign of former President Donald Trump has declined this invitation, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him a single bit. I'm going to show you a video here of CNN predicting that he's going to accept it, but he didn't. Now listen, CNN treated him fairly. It was a fair debate with Jake Tapper and Donna Bash. Absolutely no issues with it. But it's time for her to go into some unfriendly territory. She wants to be president of the entire United States, she says. Not just Democrats, not just liberals, but conservatives too. You want to be president? Then you got to talk to those people. Go where you're not comfortable. Go on Fox News. I'm not saying have Sean Hannity moderated. That wouldn't be fair. But Brett Baer, Martha McCallum, plenty of good people. Dana Perino, there's plenty of good people over on Fox News that will call it impartially and fairly. And you know that. But you don't want impartial and fair. You want a skewed playing field. You want an advantage. Trump was wise to decline this. Let's take a look at the video and let me know what you think in the comments there for now. Thank you so much. All right, and this just in, Vice President Kamala Harris today has accepted an invitation from CNN to debate President Donald Trump on October 23rd. This would be their second meeting on a public debate stage in the final weeks of the campaign. Trump has suggested last week that he might be open to participating in a third presidential debate following his September 10th face-off with Harris on ABC in Philadelphia. And his first debate uh, this election cycle was, of course, with President Joe Biden uh, right here on CNN in June. And I'm quoting now um, the, the former president, maybe if I got in the right mood, he says. He told reporters during a stop in California uh, after previously posting on Truth Social and saying this, quote, there will be uh, no third debate. So which is it going to be? The CNN debate uh, would mirror the June debate between President Biden and former President Trump with a similar format in which Trump and Harris would field moderators questions for 90 minutes without a live studio audience and would take place at the network's studios in Atlanta. CNN's Steve Contorno is in Wilmington, North Carolina, where Trump is about to take the stage. Um, so do we know whether he has received notice of this notification from the vice president um, accepting the offer from CNN? Yeah, we're still waiting to get word on whether the Trump campaign is aware of the invite and whether or not he intends to participate. And look, these two candidates have been back and forth over debates ever since Vice President Harris replaced Joe Biden on the ticket. And Trump himself has waffled on whether he wants more than one debate against Harris. He had previously suggested that he would do debates on Fox News.